censorship for the songs, but we'll try to keep it clean ourselves. Yeah, definitely not for kids. Got to tick off that tick off that box. Um, That's right. That's right. So yeah, so give me some of the lyrics, man. Throw them at me. I I just said I didn't want to because of the f bombs. <laughs> Little Johnny said and effed. <laughs> okay. First he jumped and then he looked. The tracks of time, those tracks of mine. Little Johnny's occupied. I I, I yeah. So. You're talking about the deeper read. I don't get anything out of that. I just went with the music. Um, well, little Johnny had an ache uh, that that hung around the poor boy's neck. Every time that Johnny ate, the little effer fed the ache. Yeah. Mary yeah. had a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Into the Music. I'm Chris. The other dude's Greg. Hello. And Greg's got something for me to react to. So what you got? So I've got a song. It's from uh, a band that we reacted to um, almost like the f first week or so as we were launching this channel. Mm -hmm. uh, Spiritualize is the band. I okay. remember that. Yeah, and I reacted yeah. to the song. Yeah. Wasn't and you reacted to I Think I'm In Love. Okay. And that was from um, what many call the space rock masterpiece, the album, Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, We Are Floating in Space. And that was 1997 release. And so from that, and that's the only album that I have on my iPod. Okay. And this song is the other one that I really, that has been a standout to me. And I think to many others too, it's called Come Together. Come okay. Together. And it's not the Beatle version. It's not a cover. It's come okay. together. It's original. And I want you to go check it out, man. And then come back okay. um, and let me know. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. I'm liking the vibe on this already. Uh, I'm just going to restart it. Here we go.
base. That's cool. I like that. Um, I really love that bass part. <laughs> it, it, I don't think that was throughout the whole song. I just really, it really became prominent in that one section. But I, I just thought that was cool. Um, and um, I like how they used the. It was either a clapping or a finger snapping. I'm not sure, but it was used so sparingly. I think they did it like three times, spaced very far apart. And um, I also liked the horns coming in towards the end there. So, yeah, just kind of went with that refrain for quite a while and just just go with it. It, it seems like this is that kind of band. I only know by uh, having heard one other song of theirs, but so far, two out of two with this band. So, good stuff. All right, see so you back in your chair. And uh, yeah, man. So tell me, you know, did it all come uh, together for you, this it, song? Um, yeah, uh, I really liked it. Um, I do have some questions about the lyrics, but I like what I like about this band. I'm only basing this on these two songs that I've heard. Um, but and I, I guess based on the name of it was you said it described as a space rock album. Um, space rock yeah. yeah you know sound so, sound yeah. is so just this, a, yeah yeah it was very atmospheric i guess you could call it yeah there's a lot going on like an overall uh feel of it and and uh not the stuff that's hitting you right you know jabbing you but the overall sound you know yeah and, um you know i <laughs> I think my favorite part was when it quieted down, maybe a third of the way through. And then you hear, then I heard, then I, all of a sudden I'm hearing the bass and I thought it was really cool, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I guess I like that part the best. Yeah. And um, so I really like this band. I'd have to listen to it again to really pinpoint certain parts that I liked or certain instrumentation that I really liked. Yeah. But um what I'm wondering about is the lyrics. I don't really know what they're talking about. I'd have to look at that again, too. Yeah, I mean, this is this this is a uh, this is a deep read kind of thing. You know, when you think mm -hmm. about like, you know, I mean, you're you're well read. Right. So when you look at your bookshelf and you look at books that, you know, you'll know the ones that you could kind of breeze through. And then, yeah. you know, like the real classics or the ones that, you know, it, it's going to take some yeah so, just, so do you do you know what do you have that deeper read of these 
No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a truthful answer. I appreciate it. And here's that. the thing. And here's the thing. People could say it's a cop out. You you didn't do your homework on this. So what do you know about the song? There's so, only so much time we have in a day, you know. So I've 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 had the CD for a very long time. I mean, for like 20 years. Um, and it's not like I listen to it all the time. Um, and I remember there was a time where I looked into lyrics and always, you know, get the meaning and stuff. And I know yeah. I did it with this a little bit, but um, what I've actually learned over the years is that the guy who wrote this, sings it, um, it's Jason Pierce, the singer guitarist, the front man for the band, okay. um, Jason Pierce. He basically says um, that, you know, there was, there's, there's a lot of talk that this is like a breakup song. Okay. And Pierce is saying, no, you know, he's repeatedly in, in interviews has said, no, it's not. It's not. He's saying that it's just exploring the possibilities of sound, you know? So whatever lyrics that he put to, you know, maybe, maybe he's kind of like uh, faking us a bit, you know, and that there is real meaning behind the lyrics. So if you had the mm -hmm. lyrics up, you know, after I, I I'm do. done talking, I'm I would love him. for you to kind of like say a few lines, but I just want to finish by saying that that's what he has it, you know, consistently in in interviews over the last 20 years or so has has said, you know, it's it's just it was in line with the rest of the album, you know, just, you know, this just sound yeah. and just ex well, let's, exploration let's go, of the sound. Let's go with that explanation, because if I read the lyrics, you know, there's a lot of F-bombs in there. So I don't really want to want to do that. Am I going to have to bleep that out, you know, when I edit? <laughs> I forgot that there was a song. Just yeah. get it in the, just make sure the bleep is in the right key because we're going to hear, be hearing yeah. it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, okay. I really like that bleeping sound. That was my favorite part. But it was in the wrong key. <laughs> what the hell were they thinking of? No, we, 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 non censorship for the songs, but we'll try to keep it clean ourselves. Yeah, definitely not for kids. Got to tick off that. Take up that box. Um, that's right, that's right. So, yeah. So give me some of the lyrics, man. Throw them at me. I, I just said I didn't want to because of the F-bombs. <laughs> Little Johnny said and F'd. <laughs> okay. First he jumped and then he looked. The tracks of time, those tracks of mine. Little Johnny's occupied. I, I, I Yeah, so you're talking about the deeper read. I don't get anything out of that. I just went with the music. Um. Well, little Johnny had an ache uh, that that hung around the poor boy's neck. Every time that Johnny ate, the little effer fed the ache. Yeah. Mary yeah. had a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> no, Johnny. Johnny had a little lamb, a little effed up lamb. <laughs> Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> I mean, you could have. Is there a version of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star like well, that? Well, that's that was to the whole, you know, little John. No, I'm just wondering if there is one. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, but folks anyway, out there, let us know. But <laughs> yeah, <don't be> <laughs> well, someone's gonna like, you know, hey, you know, um, the Stone Roses actually did a cover. <laughs> but here's the thing, though, right? Um, just as I was being like a dope you know, and doing that, it just reminded me of like, just how hard driving this song was, you know, just that, like, I, it, it's just when I listened to this. Oh, with the, the way they sing the lyrics. And, and oh, yeah. And I yeah. think there was one episode as my camera goes, you know, there was one episode where I made this, um, I mean, this uh, connection to there was that commercial many years ago for it might have been Sony speakers or something like that. Or, you know, where the guy sit in his chair and then it just you did the come, that once and the hair yeah. is just well, yeah. it's like it just this thing just comes at you and then it just in waves and it just keeps coming at you. And it's like, you know, if you ever go to like one of these water parks, you know, and, and they have like, you know, like the wading pool or the pool where the, the wave pool, you know, and the waves and when it starts, man, it's just, you know, like, you know, stop. no more. <laughs> and this is like that, man. It just, you know, keeps hitting you and keeps hitting you and keeps hitting you. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I just, I just love that. And it also has all these freaking instruments and it, it, there's, there's a horn section there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, you know, I would definitely ask people to, I don't think folks want me to read stuff in quotes, or whatever, but check out some of the articles that are out there, you know, where they, I think there's an article um, 
forgot the magazine I was looking at, but where they actually talk with the engineer mixer, Darren Allison, and he really, really gets into particularly that song, Come Together, mm -hmm. and how they arranged it, the horns and the brass. He's talking about the mics, you know, and how he, yeah. you know, how he's centering them, the whole thing. Um, the London Community Gospel Choir also appeared on the song um, and uh, appeared on other tracks on the album yeah. too. Yeah, so you hear them. And what's interesting is that um, they actually had them do record their part before Pierce actually recorded his lead vocal part. Okay. So, you know, but you definitely hear them, you know. So uh, that was kind of interesting, you know. Oh, yeah. probably, probably because he had all the F-bombs and <laughs> they're probably thinking, you know, they probably would not sign on if they knew what the lyrics were. So they would just go, you know, there's like, come together. This sounds great. Let's all come together. And then, you know, he, he comes in later and just. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But that's interesting how they had them first and then him later. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Um, and then I have a quote here that I wrote down um, where Pierce said, we just didn't write a song and go into the studio. And that was what you got we took time and went on a journey. And I think if anything, you know, I, I mean, I can agree to that. You know, I wonder yeah. if you think the same thing too. It's, yeah. it's a journey, yeah, you know? This is another good choice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen to the whole, I mean, I need to listen to the whole album again. Yeah, I was, you know, I was thinking about that. I was like, I should listen to that. And then I thought, no, because I'll save it for reacting. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, man, this is great. Um, All right. So I'll out? take us out. Yeah, I'll take us out. So um, thank you everyone for watching this video, this reaction. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet joined this amazing channel, we're onwards and upwards, you know, please join, hit subscribe. And uh, Chris, this is great. Have a good night. Yeah, and everyone, we'll see you on the next episode of Into the Music.